Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental health, the day after Christmas. Um, I hope each and every one of you uh, did receive what you had on your list, and I hope that those um, of us who are figuring out a way to get through these holidays, uh, that we make it. And that we don't feel alone to know that there is somebody out there. Because some of us have gone uh, gray rock. And some of us have put distance between ourselves and our family members. and Or we have family members that just keep up a lot of stuff. And somehow we've, you know, not really enjoyed the holidays. And, and for a long time. So... We are such a group that some of these stories that came up, I, I would just have been remiss if I wouldn't have made comments about. I waited a long time before I made any comment about Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. And the reason being was because I really was very disturbed by how many people were actually not recognizing that this woman was shot by somebody and I did a video about it um, when it first happened and the first thing I thought was she's protecting him and I said it on the video which we found out that she was and with that being said even though she tried to protect him he thought it was a joke he made rap records and uh, taunting her in different kind of ways. Um, I thought it was disrespectful and I thought it was just really bad taste and I was really surprised at black people for co-signing and everybody putting their vitriol and their hatred towards me. But then again, it let me know Further know just how dysfunctional, just how dysfunctional we really are. It, I mean, and according to the article from Radar Online, most of y'all was there and or heard some reporting of it in some kind of way. But this little guy is now facing 24 years behind bars. Okay. Tory Lanez, of course, was found guilty of shooting Meg Thee Stallion during an alleged altercation. The rapper reportedly re remanded to custody and his family had an outburst after the fam uh, verdict was read. He knew he did that. Meg knew he did that. And guess what? Because of black men being so damn dysfunctional and us being dysfunctional as a group, they thought it was some kind of joke. They made jokes about Meg and her situation. What happened to Meg was a travesty. Shouldn't have happened to anyone. What happened to her? It was a travesty. And her being so in this new generation where they talk about snitching and they get afraid and you get afraid to tell who your enemy is. You get afraid and you don't want to speak on, you try to protect the person. You see this dysfunction? You want to protect the person that shot you because you just didn't want to deal with it. That bullet could have ricocheted off that curb, hit your foot, hit your heart. And then I heard in one statement you said you wish you, he would have killed you so you wouldn't have had to go through this. This is a beautiful black young lady who would rather have been dead than to go through that that she had to go through with the taunting and then being able to tell her truth about what happened with Tory Lanez. Because if y'all remember, she did not press charge. The state picked up the charges. The state said, uh-uh, you're not getting ready to get away with this. 
You're going to get ready to do this and get away with it as they should have. This culture is really, really getting scary. It's, it's so dysfunctional when you got people who are so stupid they don't know the difference between what a snitch is and when somebody telling on your ass. Yeah, I'm going to tell you now, I'm not from this stupid generation. If somebody, if I see you breaking in my neighbor's house, okay, and somebody end up dead or hurt or even, uh, you know, worse yet, Say nobody do get uh, hurt. If you think for one minute I'm not going to tell what I saw, then you a damn fool. If you think for one minute, what the hell is that? Snitching is me and you do a, a caper together. I get away. Yo, you get caught. And then you sing on me. That's a snitch. We were together when the crime was committed. I got away. You didn't. So you tell on me. When nobody would have ever knew I was involved. That's a snitch. Let me teach you. That other stuff y'all call it snitching. Is not. And I encourage everybody. To tell. What they see. Tell. When something is going awry. When you know this is not normal behavior. See this is what's wrong. Grandmama gone from the village. Grandmama out here getting high and partying with her kids. Grandmama ain't but 32 years old. And there's a price to pay. For this generational madness. There's a price to pay for this. I'm glad Tori is okay. I mean, I'm glad that Megan is okay, and I'm glad that Tory's ass done went to jail. He ain't even from this country. He's from Canada. And you raising all kinds of hell, and then when you got in trouble, you on probation, you still think it's a joke. Oh, you think it's all gravy like that. The sorry for what happened rapper was originally charged with a felony kind of assault with a semi-automatic firearm and carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle when Megan accused him of shooting her in the fit, foot after they left Kylie Jenner's house party. Tory denied shooting Meg, but the rapper emotionally took the stand last week revealing that she wished she, he would have killed her after years of a fallout from her accusations, from everybody coming down on her and letting this abuser Punk, do this, and then everybody on his team. I often tell a story about my foster sister waiting on a bus stop early in the morning because they didn't have a vehicle. And a dude wanted to talk to her. She didn't want to talk to him. And he said, oh, you one of them type, huh? Now, I'm going to tell you. This type of element in our community ain't nothing new. Y'all know it. He said, bitch, I ought to make you dance. Pulled out his pistol and was about to shoot at my, shot twice, actually, at my sister standing on the bus stop. His buddy was like, hey, man, come on, come on. And they drove off. See, that's a weak-minded Negro, a dysfunctional Negro. And we have a whole lot of them in our community. A whole lot. And basically, I hate to say this, but if a lot of y'all ain't working on y'all mentals, you don't need to be in a relationship with nobody. Half of y'all are so damn crazy, you don't need to be messing around with nobody. It's all going to come out. <laughs> if it don't come out in the wash it's going to come out in the rinse. Okay? This stuff right here, and for y'all to be upset because this little dude got to go to jail, and for those of y'all who mistreated her and made her feel like she did something wrong and somebody shot her, shame on you. Y'all some damn cowards. I wouldn't want you on my dog sled team. 
On Wednesday, Deputy District Attorney Alexander Balt said the case was about a guy who shot a girl, then apologized for it. Last week, the jury heard explosive audio from Megan's ex-best friend, Kelsey Harris, who told who, uh, police interview said uh, uh, took place earlier that year. Okay, despite claiming her memory of the alleged shooting was foggy, the girl told law enforcement that she saw Tory fire his gun at the Houston rapper. So later on, they tried to throw something in the mix. Uh, to make it, somebody say they probably paid him a million dollars or a few hundred thousand to say that he saw uh, a woman with a gun in her hand. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, Kelsey told law enforcement that she saw Tory firing his gun at the Houston Rapper. She said that she got into an argument with Tory in the vehicle when he made fun of Megan after the trio left Kylie's home. But things escalated when Megan began hurling insults at his little midget behind. See, they can dish it out, but they can't take it. And this is what I'm saying. It's, a, it's so bad that these women in this community can't even identify bad behavior. They can't even identify punks, mama men, babies, baby boys. And because they haven't had an example of what a man looks like. This is this this little punk, and I and I'm calling him that because that was such a punk move. Uh -huh. it's <sighs> now they got the story because Megan's bodyguard who was set to uh, testify in the case he didn't testify he went missing huh. and so now there's an in uh, investigation uh, into him and what happened and why he didn't um it's really sad. But the LAPD is looking into his disappearance and welcome any information about his whereabouts. I cannot believe that a woman could get shot. And as black people, we protect not only the man that shot her. He don't have no ties. He's, not, he's a Canadian. So even on a loyalty tip, you wasn't even with that. It was some weak, black man, cowardly bullshit. That's what it was. Got this girl out here wishing she was dead because of the backlash and the people making songs about her. But you know what, Megan? She got the last laugh. Uh, Tori got whisked away right away. Then he had nerve take to bring his baby. Like that was gonna do something. Y'all so y'all need to turn the damn TV off because y'all watch too much entertainment. And you watch so much entertainment that you you think you can uh, uh out talk everybody. You think cause you watch CSI that you are now a forensic specialist? Well, we got all kinds and all types in our community. And most of them ain't healthy type. Ah. Ah. You know, it, it was just so much stuff that went down. The fact that Tory tried to paint the shooting as a cat fight with Megan and Kelsey. I mean, just so much, so much. <coughs> well, let me say something, excuse me, about this pint-sized rapper, because that, that, um, spirit, until it, what you call it, Napoleon complex is real, and the fact that he can pull out a gun, 
and shoot somebody and shoot at somebody and tell him he wants them to dance or don't be cognitive enough and don't have enough damn brains in your head to not shoot at somebody with a semi-automatic rifle. I hope, you know, when they deport your ass or put you in jail, deport you after you get out, that would be the best thing that happened to America. Because we don't need no more. If you send us your best, Canada. Send us your best. Don't send us no more thugs over here. We ain't interested. We got enough sick Negroes over here as it is. Send us your best. You had one from Canada that went after Nancy Pelosi and beat the hell out of her husband in the head with a uh, beat him in the head with a hammer. Some of these people need to be vetted a little bit more. Because America got his own issues. Really. And I mean that. So we got our own issues. And we can't afford to have nobody else's. Especially not my community. All right, I'm done. I just wanted to make a comment. And I wanted to take my time. Because I'm glad Tory Lanez is, it was whisked off. And I don't care. I don't know what his father was talking about. And I precisely really don't care. You should have taught your son better. What what would, you know, you should have taught him better. It's just that simple. What was put in is going to come out. Anyway, if you like what you hear, like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.